Well, the next time you have a duh moment, you can blame it on your health. Scientists have found a virus that actually causes people to score lower on IQ tests. Lisa Evers explains what the so-called stupidity virus is all about. We've been hearing a lot about Ebola, but we just found out about a new health threat that's already infected nearly half the population. It's called the stupidity virus. It sounds like a joke, but it's all too real and easy to catch. Dr. Jordan Josephson of Lenox Hill Hospital explains. It's a virus that uh, comes from algae that we breathe in through our nose or our uh, mouth into our throat and into our bodies. Researchers found that the nearly 44% of people who tested positive for the virus scored lower on IQ tests and had shorter attention spans. We did our research on 34th Street. What do you think about something like that being out there and we don't even really know about it? I just don't have any comment. I think that's hilarious. What do you think about the stupid virus? Uh, that news reporters should not have it. That would be a terrible thing. Some believe it explains a lot of their friends' behavior, and that's frightening. It's very scary. I hope they come up with, like, some kind of vaccine so they can cure it, because that's very scary. We found one guy already looking to the government for answers. So any new disease or any new ailment that people are facing, they're almost unprepared to face it. So when new challenges rise up, I hope to see our government also respond to it. What do you think about the very idea of, like, a stupidity virus? I think that's pretty crazy, a <laughs> stupidity virus. I wouldn't want to catch it. <laughs> there's no word yet whether there's a cure for the stupidity virus. In Midtown, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.